Today's headlines. 15 swimmers swim for hope in South Africa. Etisalat and Huawei partner to improve services in Nigeria, and we meet the winner of the Etisalat Prize for Flash Fiction. You tell us what you think about Kenya's low-cost airline, and today's hero is a rebel, a soul rebel. You might want to tweet, pin, or maybe just like today's Keep Calm. Lots to keep you going today on EL Reports. It's a beautiful day, guys, and welcome to another equally beautiful episode of ER Reports. You know, I often think about how much I enjoy what I do, because I do. I mean, think about some of the great news that we always bring for you. Like last month, the University of Benin and that groundbreaking procedure. I enjoy the fact that we get to discover these wonderful things and share them with you. Speaking of which, let's see what we have for you in today's news. 15 swimmers will this week embark on one of the most extreme open water challenges in the world to bring hope to children suffering from cancer. This report from SA Live tells us that only 11 swimmers have completed the 8-kilometer long swim around Cape Point since Lynn Cox of the US first did so in 1979. The dangers of the 2014 Swim for Hope are many. They include great white sharks, cold and rough seas and dangerous waves off Diaz Beach. It makes a lot of sense then that the swimmers are waiting for optimum weather conditions this week before embarking on the challenge. We're told that local musician and marathon swimmer Karina Brewer is the major force behind the project. She did a solo run in April last year and raised just over 17,000 rand. The money was donated to the Little Fighters Cancer Trust Bag of Hope project which provides essentials both for children diagnosed with cancer and their mother or bedside caregiver. Karina Brewer's goal is to raise 100,000 rand this year and she's quoted as saying, swimming as a group as opposed to being a soloist will undoubtedly result in an even more significant fundraising effort. From Business Day, we're told that telecommunications company Etisalat Nigeria and Huawei, a leading global information and communications technology solutions provider, have jointly announced the strategic agreement on IT outsourcing to boost services. Matthew Wilshire, acting chief executive officer of Etisalat Nigeria, announced the agreement, stating that the decision to outsource aspects of the company's IT function followed the adoption of a new model, effectively aligned with the corporate vision of creating more value for customers by improving quality, reducing cost, embedding innovation, and increasing the speed of delivery. This will be the first IT outsourcing program implemented in Africa with the intention to improve quality of service in Nigeria and transform the telecommunications industry in Africa. Under the arrangement, Huawei will be responsible for the operational management of Etisalat Nigeria's IT services across technical infrastructure, application management and user support while Etisalat will retain business planning, architecture and governance services. Last week, we reported that Nova Alet Bulawayo won the Etisalat Prize for Literature for Debut Fiction. Today, we introduce you to another winner at the awards, Uche Okonkwo, who won the award for Flash Fiction. The Flash Fiction series featured 20 entries with an eventual shortlist of three stories, Ms. Okonkwo's Neverland, Bonaventure Chuku's Fear, and Zere Jeremiah's Silent Screams. Ms. Okonkwo's victory was announced by renowned writer Ama Ata Aido and she took home the cash prize of £1,000 and a Samsung Galaxy Note. EL Reports got in contact with Uche Okonkwo and this is what she had to say to us about her story. The story is one that many people have experienced one way or another. The dynamics of childhood friendships and a sense of nostalgia for that time in my life were the inspiration for this story. She went on to say, I'm overjoyed to have won the prize. I'm grateful to Etisalat for celebrating both published and unpublished writers, and I'm excited about the future of the prize. <laughs> 